guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to Amazingly Enough. Today's video is all about supply chain management. I remember doing a similar video like this before and that was for global business management and I received a lot of comments and questions on Instagram asking me about it and so I felt like it was very informative to a lot of you guys and so I thought I'll do the same with supply chain management. I also remember recording that video while I was uh, pursuing the program myself and um, gave me was I was able to give a more better view on it and I'm doing the same with supply chain management. I'm done with one semester and I'm going to do my second semester in just a few weeks and so this is me giving you a review what to expect from supply chain management. So uh, the program itself is only uh, a year long. Uh, it's divided into two semesters. Uh, you can expect six to seven subjects per semester. Since I did global business management and I had two subjects that were covered in global business management, I had a credit transfer um, for this program for two subjects. But otherwise, there's six or seven subjects per semester. Uh, the class, each class is two to three hours long, depends on which subject it is. Uh, some are three and some are two, but you, uh, minimum is two hours, so you can expect that. Um, the fees is $16,000. That's what I paid uh, for the program this year for this intake. I'm not sure if it's going to remain the same, but usually there is a change. It either increases or decreases, uh, mostly increases. The requirements to apply for this course is an IELTS 6.5 overall, uh, the overall score of IELTS and a requirement of two to three years of diploma or a degree, a bachelor's degree. So which most of us usually, as far as I know, have an engineering uh, degree or something. Uh, other than that, um, I remember in my uh, GBM video, I was I remember telling you guys that I am going to take supply chain uh, because I thought it was complementary and uh, you know it supports or it's more like a specialization after GBM as it was one of my subjects in global business management. Uh, I still uh, kind of stick to it because I now that I am doing the uh, program myself, I do see that this program's uh, very has been narrowed down to a supply chain itself. Like GVM was very all over the place. I had information of all kinds of subjects, and here I am having information only about supply chain. So if you're focusing on getting a job on just like in just that, I think it's a great choice. Like you're not you are kind of going in in that one path uh what the subject basically or what the program basically is going to teach you about is uh how your organization is going to manage logistics how your organization is going to manage procurement uh, logistics is basically transportation uh, you want to find the cheapest transportation you want to know all the laws if you're moving your stuff from you know, from one country to another or who pays the shipment and etc, etc, stuff like that. Procurement is about choosing the best suppliers. So that also I was taught about in this program. And other than that, I think every organization is definitely going to have a supply chain department. That's because you want to choose the best vendors, the cheapest vendors, the most uh, reliable vendors. Um, and you want to do all of these operations in a most in a very cost efficient uh, manner and that's why i think no matter what tools what software comes there needs a team to run that software and to ensure everything's going in place and that's why i think this program is very booming uh and that's why i chose it uh, other than that if i'm going to talk about the subjects that i had uh in my uh in semester one i had uh, leadership which is very uh, theoretical here we made a lot of reports a lot of reports on organizations and how they followed certain managerial operations then uh, there's procurement there's logistics like I explain, explained to you what it is about other than that other than that the two most important subjects I found was um, uh, demand and customer relations uh, here I learned about a software called SAP the uh, software is all about collecting data from organizations and 
uh, you know, making their repetitive tasks easier. That's what SAP does. And uh, then there's business integration. I really enjoyed this uh, subject because it's all about ERP, enterprise uh, resource planning. And we were made to purchase a game and we played the game with our classmates and we were graded on basis of this game uh, where we studied an organization on how they, what raw materials they use and uh, how their products are made, what the sizes are. And then we were made to sell these products and market these products and procure these products. And on basis of that, we were graded. So I really enjoyed that. And I also think both SAP and ERP are really important and a lot of uh, organizations are willing to employ people who are certified in this. I also think, uh, yeah, the SAP, we are being, uh, we're gonna get a certificate for it. Like we use uh, Trailhead and we complete our tasks and we get scores and it's gonna reflect and it's gonna be yours for the rest of your life. So you can always use it to put it up on your resumes. Uh, I uh, also, um, I found this uh, program good in Conestoga when I was applying for uh, this program. I did look into other colleges and uh, when I looked into the subjects, I found that it was much better in Conestoga. The subjects were more narrowed down to just supply chain and I didn't want to repeat the subjects. I did it, uh, I finished in uh, global business management and that's why I chose to do this program in Conestoga. I also, I definitely do find it's very narrowed down and very, almost seems like a specialization after global business management. Uh, when I, now I'm going to start my second semester in just a few weeks, I think one or two, I'm in my winter break right now. Uh, and the subjects are just as similar. Like if I had logistics before, I have logistics too. If I had procurement before, I have, I'm having procurement too. Uh, there are a few subjects that are different. I mean, it's not the advanced level, but brand new, and that is career management, for which I already had a credit transfer because I finished that in global business management. And there is a, a capstone project. Uh, I really liked it. It's uh, When I went through what uh, is on our website, it says they're going to give us uh, an organization, uh, tell what the issues the organization is facing, and our job is to create alternatives. So we're going to do that for the entire semester. And I'm really excited for that. Other than that, I saw that there is a subject called continuous improvement. This subject uh, is all about, you know, as time goes, your company has to grow too, right? So it's all about how you improve your organization. And we're going to learn about Six Sigma here. And we're going to learn about how to optimize services and output through a you know, a few uh, softwares. Other than that, we're learning business analytics and decision making. Here again, just like leadership in last semester, we're making a lot of reports. We're gonna be given organizations, different organizations, learn how they work and analyze them and see what decision making they have used or done and implemented and we make reports on that. Uh, that's all I uh, think about this course. I don't think this program is very difficult you can definitely expect a lot of assignments and uh, quizzes, but uh, it's all about smart work. If you do your work, you're definitely going to score well. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about anything. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it down in the comments below and I will definitely answer. Or you can uh, send a message on our Instagram. Uh, that's amazingly enough. And we will definitely answer to all your questions. Until then, guys, happy living.